Don't forget to register and pick up your dual disc because exactly one week from today, my Battle City tournament begins. You're on, Kaiba. Today, we have the brand new Speed Duel Streets of Battle City box. It features eight different characters, eight different decks. So it looks like we have 20 skill cards, you know, to kind of boost your deck up, so I'm really excited about that. Six secret rare upgrades out of a possible 22 in every set. We're going to take a couple of these, rip them open, and pick a few different decks, have a little Speed Duel tournament that hopefully Troll won't win. It'll be fun. Place your bets. Today, the four of us are playing with the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Streets of Battle City pack. Oh, yeah. you got the thing. A, I think each box actually does come with oh, okay. Arcana's Dark Magician. Oh, okay. okay. Never mind. You're not special. I think what? It's Arcana and Slifer are the guaranteed ones, Paul? Yeah. yeah. Dark Magician and Slifer. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't know any cards in this entire box. I mean, I know I mean, I know cards, but I don't know what, what comes in the box, so. Oh my Ooh, gosh! Dark Magician girl. Flame Swords. Exchange. I like Exchange. Ooh, Ooh Marauding Cap. That's, that's nice. Beautiful. Okay. Dark Magic Curse. Yeah, okay. Oh, a normal Dark Magician, okay. too. Yeah. Oh, normal one. Yeah, both of them. That's cool. We want to do it. Dark Magician. Slifer. Summon Ooh. Skull. That's nice. Reflector Reflect Bounder. Nice. Night Beam. Silence. Exchange. Creature Swap. Ooh. And Mind Crush. Mind Crush is nice. And okay. Creature Swap. Right. Those are nice. Yeah, those are good secrets. Those secrets are nice. But of course, there's more than one yeah. deck in these stacks. In these stack? yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's got eight different decks from anime characters, and we're each using two of them. So I'll start off with, I want the, whatever the Gear Freed Warrior deck is. Um, I think I will take the Umi deck. You do need to pick Esperoba. You kind of have to. Yeah, right? I'll, I'll pick the Esperoba. I want Jinzo. I am going with Dark Magician. Fair. Big wait, surprise. Wait, is there two? Well, there's two spell cast, not as Dark Magician. No, this, it's the, uh, the spell cast Ultimate Wizardry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Ultimate Wizardry and yeah. there's... Because, yeah, because Arcana is now yeah, you now see, you see them, them. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now you see me. Does that so, change your choice at all? So oh, mine no. is Will of a Tail. No. Uh, Will of a Tail. You okay. know what? We're, we're just going to make it easy. I want both the Magician players. Oh, yeah, because he gets, oh, yeah, cause he gets two picks. Yeah, so. all right. Okay, all right. Okay, whatever. All right, so back to me. Uh, I'm going to have Weevil Underwood. Insects. Uh, Insect Queen. So I guess if that's the case, I'm going to pick... I'm going to take... I don't even know what these cards do. I'm going to take Slime. I'm actually going to take enough. Slime. And that leaves me with rare cards. <sighs> Whatever that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> the deck lists are in the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that amazing. probably would have been nice. To Can I repick after I see that? Nope. No, no we've already made our picks. We, we got to live with that. Uh, once per turn, shuffle a monster from your graveyard into the deck, and then send a card from your hand in the graveyard, and then during your next draw phase, you draw two cards instead of one. Oh, you have an Egyptian god. Your deck's unstoppable and how? I hope so. <laughs> All right. So now, actually, we can use these deck lists, and we can fish out our cards, and we'll get ready to do it. I'll go first, yeah. Go? Yes, I am. Okay, so at the start of the duel, I flip this card over. I'm gonna flip over a Bountiful Ocean. And I'm flipping Intel from the Cosmos. So mine says that my opponent must reveal all cards they draw during their draw phase. And uh, what's yours? Mine, uh, while well, Umi, or Yumi, uh, you gotta like say it, is facing on the field, apply the following. None effect water monster you control are unaffected by none water monster effects. Also, once per turn, if I can add one water monster from my graveyard to my hand, but for the rest of this turn, I cannot activate any cards or effects until I normal summon the monster or a card with its name. All right, cool. So, I guess since I'm going first, I don't get to draw. Mm -hmm. uh, and I may need that extra card. I'm gonna set a card face down. I was hoping I'd see my Cosmos channeling. I can see what you draw and actually get some benefit from it. Sure. Uh, I'll set another card face down. I'm gonna to go to my end phase and end my turn. All right, so I'm going to draw and have to reveal due to your skill, yeah. correct? Let's see what I have skill to make sure. I don't even remember what my name right? I'm gonna draw and reveal a fortress whale. Okay, <laughs> well, right. can't do anything with that knowledge for now, but you know. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to first start off by activating a legendary ocean. Okay. This card is always treated as enemy. All water monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense. Reduce the level of all water monsters in both players' hands and on the field by one. Then I'm also going to set two, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to end my turn. All right, I, I draw. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't have a lot. To... Riveting gameplay, baby. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> so far, so good, right? I will. All right, I'm going to normal summon my Destructotron. Can I read it? Yeah. It's a level four psychic with the ability to destroy. You target one set, spell trap your opponent control, destroy their target. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this now. 
I want to activate Tornado Wall. What is that? Tornado Wall says, uh, activate only if Umi is on the field. While Umi is on the field, you take no better damage. Oh. If, <laughs> so. Well, in response to your oh, Tornado gosh. Wall, activate. I'll activate my Psychic Shockwave. Wow. When you activate a trap card, I can discard a spell or trap and summon a level 6 Dark Machine from my deck. Okay. As cost, I'll discard Psychic Shockwave. Nice. Okay. So that's going to let me summon everyone's favorite level 6 I'm Dark already, Machine. I'm already getting roasted out here, baby. Jinzo! Sure, like Yeah, we're supposed to have 4,000 life points. I, may, uh, maybe, if it, depending. Okay. Um, I'll pay 1,000 life points to target your face down card. Okay. Then I'll enter the battle phase. Okay. I'll attack for 1,600 mm -hmm. and 2,400 and, and win the first duel. Okay. Very uh, anticlimactic match. Hey, if it works, it works, right? Uh, I'm going to set one, almost summon. Ah, Oyster Meister. I'm and ready. I'm going to pass for a turn. Okay, I guess in the end phase I get my token, an insect monster token. For the end phase? Yeah, or yeah, it's during the end phase. Yeah, based on one phase. Is it an attack or defense? Uh, it just says special summon one. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, 100 attack, 100 defense, it's just special. Token cannot be triggered except for the tribute summon of an insect monster or their effects. Instead, when attacking with insect queen, okay. That's great. Um, yeah, that's right, yeah. I get my 100 100 token. Let's do it, baby. I draw for turn. I don't have anything that I can really do past this stuff. I'll set a monster face down, set a spell or trap card, and mm -hmm. end my turn. All right, I'm going to. So during the end phase, oh. I guess I get another one? Is it? Do I want this? Oh my gosh. Once per turn during the end phase. Sure, I'll use its effect and get a, another token. Okay. The fact that you can't pop skill cards is crazy. Yeah, they're just here. Uh, it's on me. Yeah, it's on you. Draw it for turn. I'm going to activate a Legendary Ocean. This uh, card is always treated as only all water monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense, reduce the level of all water monsters in both players' hands and on the field by one. I'm going to normal summon Air Orca. Once per turn, you can banish one fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster from your hand, target one face of a card your opponent controls, destroy their target, then banish this card into your next standby phase. Okay, gotcha. But there's no main phase two, so I can't even utilize this as strong as, as greatly as I like. But anyway, you already got three monsters on board. This is so bad for me. Um, but we'll play it that way. Moving towards battle, we will swing air, well, excuse me, one at a time. This one will attack this token. Nice. In this case, you have anything to do. And, Token's gone. Uh, this one will attack into, yeah, we're gonna attack the other token. We have reason. And in phase. I guess my precious yeah, I know, queen. Right? This, is gonna be a, this is gonna be an annoying thing. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. <laughs> this hey, is token's hey, it every works turn. For you. Uh, yeah, it's on you. All right, I draw. Oh, you can choose. That sucks. Uh, yeah, so he can banish a fish. Fish, sea serpent, aqua, and, and then uh, just banish, get rid of one of my cards. Just throw a face up, face up card, and he banishes himself. Activate Verdant Sanctuary. What's that do? So it's a continuous spell when a face up insect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard. Its controller can add an insect with the same level as the destroyed monster from deck to hand. Set another card, mm -hmm. and I'll pass my turn. So I can't get a, an insect right. token. I'm gonna draw for turn. Mm, I don't wanna do that though. No, no, set, set. <sighs> uh, <laughs> I can't do a lot with the cards I've I got. Hope you can't. It's not a very great duel, you guys, all right, but this. I mean, it's it's intense. It's, uh, it's definitely it's intense. I have no hand, by the way. Your move. All right, so nothing going on here. I'm gonna draw for turn. I only got three monsters. I mean, I only got the three monster zones. Uh, we're gonna activate the effect of this. Here uh, we go. This is called. Banish one fish from your hand, then target one face of card opponent control. So I'm gonna banish my warrior of Atlantis, it's actually an aqua. We're okay. gonna target the Verdant Sanctuary to uh, destroy it, and then banish this card into uh, my next standby phase. All right, Verdant Sanctuary is destroyed. Yes. Okay. Uh, moving With towards- no benefits to me. Right. Yay. Moving towards battle, I'm gonna to attempt to swing at this here. So Oyster Meister. 1800 attack Oyster Meister, swinging at your face down. All right, so if you attack Howling Insect, so it'll be destroyed. I guess you do. But its effect activates. When it's destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, I can summon an insect with 1500 or less attack. From my deck? deck. Okay. Oh, I can't use that. This is gonna be a... This is gonna be a whale of a duel. No, obviously it's not. <laughs> obviously it's not. Uh, I'll get... I'll summon my Parasite, Parasite. So it cannot be trivial. If I'm off the field, I'm going to take directly. Okay. 
Once per duel, you discard a card and place one person from your graveyard on top of your opponent's deck face up. Yeah, and then you'll draw it next turn, and then it'll gotcha. try to summon, although that might be hard because you're zone. When's this come back? Hmm? Yeah, it might, might stand by. Yeah, might oh, stand okay. By. Oh, okay. <laughs> this might be able to work. Okay. Anyways. Oh, yeah, so you attack. All right. So your turn over. Yeah, yeah, really. That's, 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 that's how it works, I think, so yeah. Yeah. These skills kill me. So I can't tribute Parasite Parasite, but I do need it to be destroyed. All right, Duelist. Watch as I do the coolest play Let's you've never it. seen Let's before. Do Let's do it. Dude. Activate Eradicating Aerosol. So this destroys all insect monsters on the field. Okay. Which is just mine. So Parasite Parasite is destroyed and my token. Mm -hmm. Now I'll use my skill card Insect Infestation. I can discard a card and put my Parasite Parasite on top of your deck as if it was added by its own effect. Actually, I'm just um, you have cards, how many cards in here? I have three cards. Three hands, about giving you the, the, the parasite guy. So, um, and this makes everything become insect, right? Yes. When it's summoned to your field, it'll make all your monsters be insects. Come on. Okay, so, in, in, in open game state, Yeah. Rude ass. Eradicating aerosol has destroyed the cards. Uh, fish dip charge. I contribute one fish monster, then target one card in the field, destroy their target, and if you do, draw one card. I'm going to uh, target this to pop, to destroy it, and uh, okay. draw a card. And you draw. Okay. Resonance Insect. Uh, okay. Um, do you have anything open game state, like any? Uh, yeah, so Resonance Insect will have to activate because it was sent from too. Field to Grave. Okay. Uh, this so card, what's he do? This card I sent from the Field to Grave, like, except when destroyed by battle. Especially someone with Ocean Token, Fish Token, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So first, Resonance Insect just lets me add a level five or higher insect from my deck to my hand. Mm -hmm. So Resonance Insect's gonna get my Insect Queen. Okay. It was on top of my deck. I'm so sure. Why I didn't draw it. Okay. So anything? Um, no, not yet. Okay. So I'm gonna use my Insect Infestation. I'll discard a card, my Pinch Hopper, and that will let me put my Parasite Parasite from my graveyard to the top of your deck face up as though it was added by its effect. Okay, so that's there. And now I guess I have to, well, um, I'll use another Verdant Sanctuary. In phase. Okay. Precious Queen. You get a token? Token. Uh, All right. Token is 100, 100, right? 100, 100. Thinking on in phase. I might have a response. These skills are so annoying. Yeah, these skills these are. These skills are so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> a little um, obnoxious. I'm doing now while I have a chance. Fish depth charge. Oh, okay. Uh, tribute off. We're gonna target. Cross hand is how many? I have two. Two and, and you, you get have two fish depth charges. Of, kind of yeah. nasty. Ooh, okay, yeah, this is your end phase. So I, I can do that, I can do that. Oh gosh, you actually have plays in the end <laughs> phase and speed duel? Okay. I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying. Lord knows. Yeah, let's, I'm, 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 here, I'm here for that. But let's do it, let's see. <laughs> so I'll draw this and they immediately spend something by, by its effect, correct? Mm -hmm. And it's all an end phase, so I'll see you get another draw. We're gonna, we're gonna, pop, the other, we're gonna pop another Virgin Sanctuary. Draw a card. Okay, so Parasite, Parasite. Yeah, Parasite, Parasite has to feel you guys. So all my, um, I spend some defense, and if I do, I take a thousand damage. All monsters controlled by me are, that are all monsters controlled that are summoned. All monsters controlled by the player that summoned this card become your insects. All my monsters pretty much become yeah. insects, you guys. Sorry. That That's my turn. Case. All right, I'm going to yeah. draw for turn. What are the odds that I, I, what are the odds? What are the odds? What are the odds? I hope you drew something good. And Insect Queen is just a normal summon, right? It's just a normal yeah, summon? Yeah, just a normal summon. I can't do anything that matters. And she's like, what, 27? This is high. I've, I've already, not, I've, not 27. I've already lost this game. Like, I, I don't like. There's nothing. I have, I have no power in these decks. Uh, <laughs> I just don't. I don't. Like there's nothing. I can, oh, this comes back actually. Yeah, and you're standby, right? Um, I guess it comes back. It's it, it, it removed. I guess. Um, yeah. I guess I'll activate uh, Well of a Tail. I can discard one card from my hand and add one Fortune Will or the Fortune Will over from my deck to my hand. And we're gonna add. Oh, I, oh, oh, it's not once per turn. Yeah, I just thought it about it. It's not once per turn. turn. That's kind of nuts, given that you just cycle right into the ritual. Yeah, but your monster, like your monster, is just gonna be too big for like there's nothing I can do with it. Um, uh, attack. Okay, it's so inner battle. Oh yeah, inner, inner battle. Yeah. Uh, attack. Sorry, inner battle. Um, I don't think any of these help me. I, mean, I could have made a lose five attack with some defense, so it don't matter. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's inner battle. Yeah. Goodbye. Ay ay ay, that's crazy. Um, your turn. All right. Oh, you're During the in phase, my precious in queen will summon an insect token back to my field. I draw. So thanks to Parasite, Parasite, your monsters are insects. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the type of it doesn't matter as much, but yeah. Okay. This is. This is water bat. Water monster bat. Uh, I think the monster do it. I don't remember. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Every monster works. 
Speed Doodle always kicks my butt. Yeah, Speed Doodle's a bit, a uh, bit yeah. much. Hang yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, there was, I think there was a little thing you could be, you can do with that. Yeah. Okay, I will tribute my token to summon my insect queen. <laughs> to the field and attack position. Two. So, thanks to my skill card, I was able to tribute it with only one tribute. What's it do? So this is Insect Queen. She gets 200 attack for each insect monster on the field. There's currently two, three, three. I guess. So it's 28. Um, she can't declare an attack unless I tribute one monster. Um, and during the end phase, if it's destroyed a monster by battle that turn, I can summon an insect monster token. It's the same kind of this. Gotcha. Thing. So you got to be two tokens instead of one. Yeah. Oh, so but, I'll be able to kill the monster. Unless you destroyed a monster. Okay. Also. If all monsters on the field are insects, then my level seven or higher insects can actually attack directly. You still gotta tribute a monster for her, correct? And also other tribute a monster for her. However, I can tribute from hand thanks to Precious Queen, right? That's true. Yep. Okay. That is true. All right, well, I'm going to enter, so she's what, 24, so 28. Enter battle. Sure. Uh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna I'll attack with Insect Queen by tributing my Prickle Fairy from my hand. Okay. What is your attack target? That. She doesn't do anything. I your attack target. Oh, but I will be attacking Air Orca. And you're 28 to my 14. I'll take four, uh, 1400 damage. Yeah. I'll take 14. And in the end phase, she's gonna be able to make a token. Uh huh? So you get two tokens or? Yeah, I guess I'll get two. In phase. Uh, yeah. Two tokens. Indeed, indeed. Oh, someone's an attack position. Lord. She summons her as an attack position. Mm. So my turn. Your turn. Should have attacked you, right? Like honestly, I mean, it was more worth it. I did not win. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, Trill. Can you make something work here? It's gonna take. It's gonna take everything I got right now. It's gonna take everything. I need I got. all these cards. All right, I got. I'm gonna have a play. So we're first going to. We're gonna use this skill first to add a needle sunfish to the hand. Make sure it's gonna add. Yeah, we're gonna add needle sunfish to the hand. Got it. So I can't uh, do anything else inside normal summoning. So we'll normal summon it now. Is that good so far? Yeah. Uh, we'll use this skill to discard a card to search uh, the, either well, the, the Fortress Well or the Fortress Well Oak. Got it. So we'll get Fortress Well Oak. That good? That's good. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, try one face of a monster to opponent control, they'll try to lose 500 attacks. So we're going to target okay. your so queen. she's down to... She's down to, uh, no, not 17, she's, she's down to... Was it, she's gaining... She's gaining 1,000. Yeah, gaining 1,000, so, so she's 32, 32 now she's 27. She's minus, minus, minus 27. Okay. Um, he was good for her. Uh, we're going to activate Fortress Will of Oak. Okay. Uh, this, this, and this. You can't tribute Parasite Parasite well, thanks to my skill card. Skill card that I can't? Insect Infestation says that Parasite Parasite can't be tributed. Wow! I guess I did not read that. Okay, yeah, look, let's back that up. Okay, okay, okay. Rough. Rough trail, rough. Okay, we're still good though. We're still fine. I can still tribute these two. Okay. For this one. So your ritual summoning Fortress Fortress, yeah, ritual summoning Fortress Wealth, Fortress Wealth Oath. Oh, okay, and that also will weaken my monster, I think. Uh, well, okay, yeah, actually, it's the same amount of insects. Hmm? Uh, yeah, the same, it is. Okay. Um, but uh, also, make sure I get clear, you lose another 500 attack because it is. Oh, so, oh you're using the second yeah. deal. Yeah, oh, then I never, yeah, this is uh, trouble, okay. Okay, that's why I make sure I make sure yeah, I pay attention so to now it. she is 22. Okay. Now she is 22. Um, okay. Yeah, now she's 22, so, so weird. This card hands one, right? Just one card. Can I read your skills? Because you got things going on that I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing should be stopping you now. Nothing you say. I'm gonna attempt, to, oh actually, no main phase two. Set a card. Yeah. Uh, move towards battle with 2550 to swing over, the tw attempt to swing over your 2200 attack monster. Yeah. So you'll take 350. I'm 20, uh. So he's 2550 now? Because of water. Yeah. And I should be down, and I'm down to 22. 22, okay. you, took, you lost so a thousand. I take 350. 350. Right. I take 350 and my insect queen is destroyed. Uh, end. Phase. Anything? Nothing. In turn. I guess I, I'll use that, this. That's, that's all yeah. that I was trying. This thing to get a token. I wanted to take attack over the token, but it doesn't matter because I could. You just wouldn't got me anywhere. Draw for turn. Well, this is trouble. No, it's not. We're gonna switch this to defense. That's gonna be that. My turn. Your move. Draw for turn. I couldn't stop. Oh, it this forces it. To yeah, it forces it. Yeah. And trust me, so. ask him. I did everything I could. <laughs> yeah, ask him. I actually <laughs> I was afraid he was gonna like find a way to 
circumvent I did. it. So actually, I, uh, I, I made him summon it on my on his turn instead of my draw phase. Yeah, with fish death yeah. charge. So to, 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 to mitigate that. You're going to mitigate some damage. Yeah. And I thought I had a plan with it, but eh, whatever. Now we're in a standoff. Yeah, kind of. Because I only run one insect queen. So Yay. I don't know what I can do. Uh, I know what I can do, though. I'm going to use my skill. We're going to get... I want Oyster Meister. I want Oyster Meister. Let me make sure that's what I want to do. Right? Uh, yeah, I want Oyster Meister. I have to norm I'm going to normal summon it. That good? That's good. I'm going to, oh, set one. Move towards battle. With these two, we're going to attempt to attack two, th well, one at a time. One here, and then here. And it'll be in, in turn, in or in phase. phase. In All right, phase. I'll use Precious Queen to summon a token. Of course he will. Your turn. These tokens are going to keep me alive. They're trying. They're, They're trying. trying. They are definitely trying. I should have run away to get Insect Queen back. That might have been a good idea, huh? I'll set a card. Another token. And <laughs> go to my token, end phase bro. and get from This card's broken. This card's good. Like every turn? Yeah. At, at draw. both end phases, it just gets a token. Oh. Uh, obnoxious. Stand by main. Um, we're going to Night Beam and target this one. Oh, and I can't use it in response. You, can, you, cannot, right? you, you cannot use the target card in response. That's correct. I'll chain my DNA surgery. I'll declare insect. So okay. all face-up monsters become insect, which okay. up to now wasn't necessary anyway, but Wait. insect. You just, you just want to be able to chain So it. now I can chain my dust tornado. To target. I'll target, because this, this, this gives this its effect. Mm -hmm. With only on the field. I'll get it back. Don't you worry, sir. <laughs> and then what does this do? That's the one that searches the fortress world things. And also uh, make my, my monsters can't, my water monsters cannot be targeted by spell the trap. I'll target this. That was actually a good hit. Oh, that's my tornado. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, my tornado. Yes. That's Jesus. actually a really good hit. Okay. That's a really good hit. Yeah, but that's the thing where you don't take any damage. I take no damage. Yeah, I take no damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it forces you to put Parasite, Parasite in attack, I guess. I, it does, and I'm okay with it. I'm not afraid. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to use this skill here right now. I'm going to get uh, get that one back. Needle Sunfish? Yeah, okay. get, yeah Needle Sunfish back. Uh, I can I, I can declare it? yeah can I do the text yeah I can I can do the text but I can I can declare the text okay. so ha okay all three tokens yeah, yeah, no, key, yeah, no, yeah, I know yeah yeah go ahead yeah. I know draw <laughs> so he, he obliterated me one turn last game I'm gonna set a card face down mm -hmm. another token in phase sure a token which they came, which they came out of attack precious right? queen which they came out of attack I don't right? know why they overlook they should get, either it should have been only my end phase or they should come out of an attack yeah You're draw cannot be tributed that is crazy um I'm gonna activate dust tornado good target I'll hit legendary ocean cause okay. something I don't know I don't have anything to set but I'm sure that's good oh yeah that's fine that is fine so I can't get the uh, add back off that I could get that. I don't know why that's crazy. This, this not being able to be tributed because of the skill is crazy. Yeah, I've got to keep it there. That's fine. That is fine, true. We will then decide to do... I'm about to take some damage, though. I'm hoping so. I right, will we'll hold off. You're going to have to do something to me. Oh, we're moving towards battle. Battle has been moved. Pew, pew, 2350. Yeah, okay. <sighs> All right, this puts me at 13, you at 16. Uh, uh Yeah, on you. All right, so my well, precious yeah, yeah, queen insane, insane. gets me one token. Go ahead. Draw. Yeah. All right, I'll go to my main standby phase, sure, sure. main phase. Okay. I'll activate Eradicating Aerosol to destroy all insect monsters on the field. So everything goes. I get a token. You do. And now I will... I kind of forgot about Oyster Meister. Yeah, if, if, if it leads by anything besides battle, I get a token. Oh, this is yours, by the way. Oh, yeah. Parasite, Parasite. So if this is once per duel, that'd be great. Which part? Um, this thing that sends a thing. Oh. Uh, All right. Normal summon Pinch Hopper. Okay. Pinch Hopper lets you special one from the hand if it dies. If it dies, if it goes right. to my grave. And I'll enter battle and attack. Oh, uh, what's the stats of this token? Zero, zero, okay. All right. Invade. Mm -hmm. yeah, that Parasite, Parasite was a problem. Draw. I'm trying uh, to advance this duel at this point. Oh my god, it's gonna Because <laughs> like I feel like if I let that linger any Set. longer, I'm just not gonna get anywhere. Normal summon. Uh we're gonna kill that though. You are gonna take five hundred. Okay. Yeah, I could use fifteen. Yeah. All right, I'll take five. I'm gonna use its effect. Sure. It summons an insect from my hand, my chainsaw. Oh, I forgot insect. to use the effect of the oil. It's fine. Uh okay. Okay. Alright, mm. invades. Precious queen. Sure. I just I forgot about that. I forgot about this. What's that do? The one to search the uh, the fortune wheel. Just a deck, oh. just, just a deck thing, basically. Okay. Oh, you run multiple. I mean, 
I thought I had. Draw. Do I want to let you draw cards? It'll be 19. What are you crying about? It'll be yeah, 19. Yeah, well, look. Sometimes I'm going to go from 24 to 19. Sometimes things are hard, okay? Whatever. I'll set a card face down. Pass mm -hmm. my turn. Okay. Hope it was the right call, because... Draw uh, for turn. We're going to... We're using our skill cards this duel. We are. We're going to disaffect first. Okay. To pitch off one and add a fortune will or whatever. Back at, oh, hang on, sorry. Attack with this one first. What's he going to take? It's just fucking insect berry. It's just insect stun. It's ridiculous. I'll use widespread ruin. Wow. When you declare an attack, I destroy the attack resistant monster you control with the highest attack. Okay. So seven colored fish. It doesn't negate that attack though, so. Yeah, so. Hey. So you killed the token. Destroyed. Um, that's up. Go ahead. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> <Draw>. Right. Right. <laughs> kind of stupid. Um, oh so my goodness. Actually, in this case, it kind of sucks. It's just I wanna... insect stuff. It's so bad. Okay. Uh, inner battle. It's, I'm going to regret this, but I want this to end. Wall of disruption. What the hell? What uh, is this? When your opponent monster declared an attack, all attack this monster opponent control. Cur currently control, lose 800 attack each monster they control. So it loses 24. Ah! <laughs> so it becomes zero. Okay, so I just lose. <laughs> okay. You just lose and yay. Fine. You know what? I ain't switching oh decks. God. I ain't switching decks. We're gonna win this. <laughs> These insects are gonna win. <laughs> At the start of the duel, I'll flip up insect infestation and my precious queen. Sure. That parasite, parasite Start with games. four Crazy. cards. I don't draw on my first turn. Cannot be triggered because of skill. These skills are ridiculous. Yeah, some of these skills get a little wild. The skills are better than the decks. Okay. Well, I'll have the hand traps so you know. Um, you know what's that? <laughs> Let's set a monster and set a card. Mm -hmm. I'll go to my in phase, and you know what that means? My precious <sighs> queen will summon an insect token. Your move, do it. Take Ooh. it away. I'm gonna draw for turn, you guys. Stand by, main. Whoo! I know you're lying to me. This is this is gonna get crazy. <laughs> I yeah. know you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Two slifers? I hope not. Oh uh, wait, wait. Can I even? Okay, so, okay. Wait, I can do this. I can do this. Uh, make sure I read this properly. Okay. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. I'm going to activate Water Hazard. Once a turn, you can spend some on one level for a little water monster from your hand. You must control no monster to activate to resolve this effect. I'm going to choose to activate Reactor Slime. Oh, activate it? No, to spend some. Oh, act, 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 activate to spend some Reactor Slime. Okay. Reactor Slime says during my main phase, I can activate this effect. Spend some two slime tokens. Also, you cannot normal or spend some of the monsters for the rest of the turn except Divine Beast Monsters. In the battle phase, you can tribute this card to set one Metal Reflect Slime from your hand deck or graveyard. It can't be active this turn. But I'm going to use the effect to get two tokens. And then... Oh, you're just going to summon right off the bat. I'm going to summon! I don't know the chance for Slifer, you guys. Oh, yeah. Here, here's your tokens. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the two tokens from this here, and I'm going to tribute the three tokens. Wow. To summon Slifer for the Sky Dragon. On the very first turn, I don't know what it does. It's a guy. Uh, this card normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summon cards in the face cannot be activated once turned in the face. This card special summon sits to the grave. Can a thousand attack and defense reach card in your hand. The monster normal special summon to your opponent's field in attack position. That monster loses up to two thousand attack. Then if this attack has been reduced to zero as a result, destroy it. So do these just die automatically? Uh, it's only new things that summon. I'm talking like when, when they're summoned, do they just die automatically? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure, because I don't play Slifer, you guys. Well, wait, wait I think yeah, he act, like it activates and just destroys. Okay. Yeah. So he's 2,000 attack, and I have two cards in my hand. Uh, right. I'm going to activate Battle City Siren. What the heck is Once per turn during your main phase, you can change the battle position to one monster your opponent controls this turn. The first attack you declare must target that monster. I can use the skill up to twice per, uh, per duel. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, Paul. Okay. I'm going to choose to put your token in attack mode. It's got 100 attack. Uh, so with 2,000 over 100, you take 19? Yeah. Ouch. Oh, it's not going to stop. You don't act don't, don't, like it will. You're lying to okay. me. Okay. Um, in phase. Oh, yeah. In phase. Um, in, yeah, precious queen. Summon in defense. So, oh, yeah, because it has to be in attack Yeah, right? got to be summoned in attack. Oh, okay. It still presents... An issue. In turn, for it down? Yeah, I draw. Okay. So you can do that up to twice per duel. Per duel, duel. yes. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so risky. It's like something I can do, and it's like, if this goes wrong, it goes really wrong. Okay, okay I'm going to just... Mega capper. Let's see. Let's set a card face down. Mm -hmm. And pass turn. And draw for turn. Stand by main. Got it. Uh, can I read your skills? Yes. I don't trust you. 
You know, trust <laughs> me. Trust huh? I'm gonna go ahead and use this the second time to put that uh, token into attack mode. Fine, do it. I'm going to attempt to move, hey, attempt to move towards battle. <laughs> I'm gonna swing at the token. I have to swing at it anyway. But I activate my trap card. Widespread ruin. Wow. When you declare an attack, I'll destroy your attack position monster with the highest attack. Wow. Say goodbye to Slifer the Sky Dragon. Wow. Well, there's, there's, there's the game. Oh, go ahead. There's no main phase two. Draw. Wow. That was a cool little play. Flip my resonance insect. Sure. Widespread ruin is no way. And my pinch hopper. They were all the floaters. I was right. I'll activate Verdant Sanctuary. So it's just a defense, though. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. And enter battle. Mm -hmm. Resonance attacks for a thousand. Take a thousand. And pinch hopper for a thousand. Draw. That was the end of that. Um. I can't have Slifer ruining my plan. I haven't drawn anything, dude. I'm in trouble. Set a card. <laughs> I draw. Main phase and battle phase. Do you have anything in your hand with 2,000 tech? You should be able to kill me. Uh, well, I'm just going to attack with my resonance insect for 1,000. Oh, no, I lose. <laughs> okay, well, I'll attack with both of these. What card was that? Uh, magic arm shield. Oh, okay, the thing that... The... You have to, I have to control the monster to use it. Yeah, okay. I just drew no monsters besides the two. I literally drew those two monsters. That was it. <laughs> and I, drew, I played all these monsters to draw none of them. All right, I'm All up. right, duelist. Oh, I got to say, I don't run any dragons, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. let's see what you can do with that. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, wow, okay. I'll draw for turn and activate Reinforcement of the Army uh -huh. to add a level 4 or you lower warrior monster to my hand. You gonna get gear free the Iron Knight? That's not how you say his name. Say it, I say it. Let's get my marauding captain. Oh, okay. Why didn't you get the shiny one? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'll get my marauding captain. You suck. Hey, it's your idea. You're a bad player. So, I will normal summon marauding captain mm -hmm. and activate its effect to special summon a level four lower warrior monster from my hand. Yeah. I'll summon Command Knight. Command Knight says all warrior monsters I control gain 400 attack. And if I have another uh, monster on the field, you cannot target Command Knight for attacks. Okay. Then, I'll enter battle. Marauding Captain will attack for 1,200 damage. 1,200 damage? Yeah. And then, oh, I mean, actually it was 16. My bad, extra four. And Command Knight will attack you for 1,600 damage. 1,600 damage. All right, and I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Next game. <laughs> you surrender? <laughs> you tell me. We're going to game two. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, all right, all right. I all right. Let's see, let's don't mind this. All right, I'll just go ahead and pass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Draw for turn. I will normal summon Breaker the Magical Warrior. That's a really solid monster. And when it's normal summon, he has a spell counter. A spell counter? Hey, but that means he's got, what, 1900? Yes. Ooh. I'll, I will set one card face down, because there's my main face too. Now I'll move towards battle. Yes. 1900. I'll take 1900 from your breaker, the magical warrior. <laughs> and now he's tapped. Why is he in defense mode? <laughs> and go ahead. All right, let's draw for turn. Didn't help. All right. In standby phase. Standby phase. I will activate my trap card. Mind the crush. What's happening? Declare one card name. If that card is in your opponent's hand, they must discard all copies of it. Otherwise, you discard one. Otherwise, I discard one random card. That doesn't work how I thought it did. Oh, <laughs> so what? What card are you gonna declare? Red Eyes Black Dragon. Nope. Don't you have to show me? Didn't they change the rule on Mind Crush where you don't I, have to reveal your hand to your I opponent? don't know, because I, I wouldn't know how, otherwise I would know whether or not you have it. Judge, do I have a Red Eyes Black Dragon in my hand? He could be in league with you. It's a it's a normal dragon monster. Right. There is none here. Mm. So I discard one. Right? A random card, right? Okay. Uh, how do you want to pick? Do I just select one? You don't know what they are, so I don't okay. think it hardly matters. Look at that one. Yay. Let's see. So you have a Breaker the Magical Warrior. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a whole lot here. So what I'm going to do is this. Normal Summon Time Wizard. So you know how Time Wizard works, right? Sure. So once per turn, I'll, I'll, t I'll toss a coin. And if I call, I'll call it. If I call it right, I'll destroy all your monsters. 
If I call it wrong, I'll destroy all my monsters. And if I do, I'll take damage equal to half the total attack of those monsters. Okay. So, where's the... Alright, so I'll call... I'll call Tails. Hey, yes. I'm wrong. So, <laughs> my board gets blown away, which doesn't like him. I'll take 250 damage, which isn't great, because that puts me in kill range for that guy. Yay! Yay. All right. Was that, was that your Hail Mary Joey play? That was all I had. I'll have my turn. I will draw for turn. Standby phase. You're good. Main phase one. I will activate the effect of Break the Magic Warrior to remove one spell counter. Target one spell or trap on the field to destroy it. You destroyed my Michizuri. Huh. Next, I will normal summon Skilled Red Magician. That's a skilled magician. Now we'll move into battle. Yes. We'll attack you for 16. I will activate Sphere Karibo. I'll discard it from my hand. Mm -hmm. I'll stop your attack and switch you to defense position. Skilled Red Magician. He'll hit me for 1600 damage. I'm going to. I think I can do it. You can activate skill cards whenever, correct? I believe so, as long as they don't say otherwise. I'm going to activate Ultimate Wizardry. It says, when I activate this skill, place one, we're still in battle phase two, don't make phase two. Um, place one spell counter or each face up spell caster monster I control that I can place a spell counter on. Oh, wow. So boop and boop. All right, there's, the, there's two here. Yes. We could really use some dice. All right. And I'll pass. All right, let's draw for a turn and. You know what, let's go ahead and go to the next game. <laughs> was it that bad? I couldn't get into a monster I could normal summon. Yeah, sucks, don't it? That, 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 that hurt, that hurt. That's that hurt? That hurt. Oh, my things. Um, Your skills, yes. I'm gonna activate the skill, I'm gonna activate the skill, okay. And then I activate my iron grit. Grit. So that my gear freeze are unaffected by cards. All cards? Yeah, just about. Jeez. I'll activate reinforcement of the army. This guy here. Hey man, Marauding Captain. How, how many reinforcements of the army do you have? I'm not sure. I activate reinforcement of the army to add a level four and lower to my hand. He said he's nope. not sure right before activating one. The man said he wasn't sure and then he activated one. This time I'll get Command Knight. Well, it's, just, it's it is a play. A normal summon my Marauding Captain. Everything's purple now. <laughs> Normal summon Marauding Captain. Is that blood filling my eyes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Normal summon Marauding Captain. Uh -huh. It'll let me special summon a warrior from my hand. Command Knight. Mm -hmm. Now Command Knight gives all my warriors 400 attack. Mm -hmm. And as long as I control another monster, you cannot select Command Knight for, as an attack target. Okay. I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Yeah. I will start by activating Summoner's Art. Add one level five higher normal monster from my deck to my hand. See, he can search too. It's not just me. I'm getting Dark Magician. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. I have heard that. That is, I've, I've heard Unless that Unless you're Cosmo Queen. We don't mention that card. Why? It's not in this, it's not in this set. I'm sure somebody can make a Cosmo Queen deck. They shouldn't though. Why? Because we don't want that. You don't want that. None of us do. Now I'm going to activate my skill. Now you see them. What do I see? <laughs> Once per duel, if I have two or more Dark Magicians in my hand, I can reveal them, place any number of Dark Magicians from my hand on the bottom of the deck, then draw cards based on how many I play. You did not search Dark Magician just to s send it back to draw. Not only did I have one, but I have two. You searched it to draw. <laughs> so I get to draw three cards. Okay, I, that is, that's, I guess that's a, that's a plus, yeah. Oh, on the bottom of the deck, and then I get to draw. So you can't draw them. That's, that's pretty I decent. Can, I get to draw three cards. I'll set one card face down. I don't know what you have in your hand. Me neither. I haven't looked in a while. Oh, normal summon. Anarchist Monk Ranshin. That's a card. Yes. This card is sent from the field to the graveyard by the opponent's card. Assuming it means battle or effect. Talk one monster in your graveyard and banish it. Oh, not bad. I move towards battle. Yes. He will attack your marauding captain. All right. I'll take 200 damage. And then I'll pass. All right. Draw for turn. I will normal summon Gear Free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. I knew you had it. I'll set a card face down. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll enter battle. Battle. So my gear free, it's gaining uh, four, I mean, yeah, 400 attacks, so it's 2200. Now, gear free, the Iron Knights okay. are unaffected by card effects, but this is not the Iron, this is not gear free, the Iron Knight, it's the Red Eyes Iron Knight. Oh, so sorry. it is affected by card effects. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a strange thing. Anyway, I'll attack your Anarchist Monk. Fine, I'll lose how much? It's like 400. But you've activated my Anarchist Monk's ability to banish your Marauding Captain. He's removed from the game. And then Command Knight will attack you directly for 1600. Sure. <laughs> All right, I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set one card face down. How many cards do you have in your hand? One. And I'll pass. Before your turn is over, I'll activate Blast with Chain. What does that do? So I target a face-up monster that I control, my gear free, and I'll equip this card to it, and it gains 500 attack. Okay. But that triggers my gear free effect. On a once per turn, if either player equips an equipped card to this card, I can destroy the equipped card. Then I can destroy one spell or trap you control. Mm -hmm. So I'll destroy the Blasphemy Train and destroy your face down. You destroy my anti-magic anti arrows. Furthermore, when Blasphemy Chain is uh, destroyed by a card effect while equipped, target one card in the field and destroy it. I'll target your monster. Hey, that's going to be game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was all vindictive. It Perfect. Was. So at the start of the duel, I flip over Intel from the Cosmos. And at the start of the duel, I flip over Iron Grit. Okay, so you must reveal all cards you draw during your draw phase. And my Gear Free the Iron Knights are unaffected by card effects. Got it. Um, I'm going to set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right. I'll draw and have to reveal it, correct? You must reveal the card you drew. Gear Free the Red Eyes Iron Knights. Oh, is it considered gear for the Iron Knight? No, because that, that actually would be a little counterintuitive to what I, what I want, but it's all point. Okay. All right, so I'll start by normal summoning Marauding Captain. Ooh, okay, good start. Marauding Captain's effect lets me special summon level four of lore from my hand. I special summon gear free the Red Eyes Iron Knight. All right. And then, I'll activate United We Stand, I guess I'll put it here, and equip it to my Gear Free. Okay. Which triggers Gear Free's effect. What does it do? Once per turn, if either player equips an equip card to my Gear Free, I'll destroy the equip card. Then, I'll destroy one spell or trap that you control. Okay. You only have the one. You destroyed my Psychic Shockwave. I don't know what that does, and I'm not reading it. <laughs> then, I'll set another card face down. Then a battle. All right, battle entered. Marauding Captain attacks for 1,200. Okay. And then my Gear Free attacks for 1,800. I'll take both, unfortunately. Not in my turn. All right. I draw and read my skill. Okay. I will, since you control two more monsters than I do, I can special summon the Fiend Mega Cyber from my hand. Wow! It has 2,200 attack points. Now, I can't attack Marauding Captain since you have another warrior, right? No, that's Command Knight's effect. Oh, when I have oh, to, okay, no, I have to attack. Yeah, yeah you cannot target my other warrior monster for attacks. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. Um, then I'll then I'll normal summon my Destructotron. What does that do? Actually, I can't even use it. Yeah, I'm not, not even. Down. I'm not even gonna. I have to pay a thousand to use effect. <laughs> do so, it. Do it. Do it. Uh, you know what? Just screw it. I'll normal summon my Destructotron. Okay. All right, I'm going to enter the battle phase, Duelist. The battle phase has been entered. Destructotron's going to attack Marauding Captain. Let's see. It has 1,600 attack points. What is, and the Fiend Mega Cyber doesn't have any other effects? The Fiend Mega Cyber has nothing else. Quite an old card. I will activate my face down. Kunai with Chain. Okay. So I can activate one or both of these effects simultaneously. All right. One of the few cards in this game that actually says that. So when an opponent's attacking monster declares an attack, I will target the attacking monster and change it to defense position. Ah. And then I'll target a face-up monster I control and equip this card to that target. I'll target. There's actually no reason to equip it to gear free. Is it optional? Surely. OK, I can actually just equip it to it. I'll equip to my gear free, because there's no reason in buffing him up. Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll use Fiend Mega Cyber and attack Marauding Captain. I'll take 1,000 1, damage. Ouch. I'll go to my end phase, which means Destructotron's destroyed. 
He destroys himself? Yeah, unless I have another psychic monster. Oh, he's not. A oh, okay. Yeah, they should have made these psychics. I thought well, you'd think one of your skills would do it. That would be nice, huh? Draw! I guess I can use DNA surgery. Ooh, that'd be nasty. All right, so my gear freed has 23, nope. Yeah, 2300. So that's mm -hmm. actually bigger than your fiend mega cyber. So if I normal summon, oh, I come- Oh, show me what you drew. Oh yeah, well, you'll see it. Blast with draw. chain. Okay. I, don't, I mean, it's not gonna, I don't think it'll matter too much here. Normal summon command knight, which will increase all my warriors by 400 attack. Ooh, okay. And I'll enter battle. Battle enter duelist. Gear free, the red eyes iron knight, attack. My fiend mega cyber is destroyed, and with it, most of my life points. What'll that be for? It'll be uh, my 500. Five, 500. And then, Command Knight, finish this game! All right, well, that's just my warm-up dual duelist. I'm playing the rare hunter. And I'm playing Weevil. Weevil, I'm the one. I know a little something, something about being a rare hunter. We'll see. I wonder how Weevil would have fared against the rare hunters. He never really had to encounter them in Battle City. I'm assuming he, he would have lost. I don't know. I Probably. Don't know. Although he was as much of a cheat as they were. So, so who's going first this time? Um, I think I'll take the first move, Duel. All right. Flip over my two skill cards. Insect Infestation and oh. My Precious Queen. They're both at the start of the duel? Yes. Inf insect Infestation lets me normal summon level 7 insects for one less tribute. And during the end phase, I get a token. An insect monster token. Infestation has more to do with Parasite Parasite. But if all monsters in the field are insects, then a level seven or higher insect monster I control can attack directly. Okay. Next. I wish I could like just MST your skills. I will set one card face down and go to my end phase, which means my precious queen will activate and summon one token in defense position. You're move to us. All right, draw. I will normal summon Voltic Calm. Okay. That's 1800 attack, and if it does battle damage, I get to send the top card of your deck to the graveyard for every night monster I control. I only have one, so it'll be one. And I shouldn't be able to do damage, unless I use my skill. The skill card. Battle City Siren. So during the main phase, I can change the battle position of one of your monsters and my first attack this turn has to be on that monster. Your token. So my token goes to attack position, okay. And now we'll enter battle phase. Battle's entered. Voltic Kong attacks the token. All right, so I'll take 1,700. I guess I have to send one card off the top? That's right. My Verdant Sanctuary goes that, to the grave. That, that, that card that's, that, it's that uh, continuous spell where when insects ah. die, I get to add a new one to my hand. Yeah, that's cool. I like that being gone. All right, and that'll end my turn. All right, I'll draw. Hmm, I will. Set one card face down, and I'll normal summon Chainsaw Insect in attack position. Oh, that's a big monster. If it battled, at the end of the damage step, you do get to draw one card. Oh, okay. So, you know, could Hit be me. helpful. Um, however, I don't think I'm going to be doing any hitting just yet. Your move, Duelist. Can I attack it and I'll draw? Yeah, oh, if okay. this card battled at the end of the damage right. step, you draw one card. No, I appreciate you. Draw for You can attack it with your Voltic Kong if you like. I was, I was summoning something weak. <laughs> I really want to attack Voltic Kong. I do, but I need to probably to make other moves. I will set one card face down, and I'll activate my Battle City Siren. Okay. So that's I the will... last time you'll be using it in this duel. Yes. I want to switch your Chainsaw Insect to defense position. To defense it goes. And then I'll enter. I'll, so I can't do it. Let me that easy. I'll enter Battle. To battle into. Voltic Kong attack Chainsaw Insect. All right, so at the end of the damage step, you'll get to draw one card. All right, and then uh, I'll end my turn. All right, now I'll use insert my precious queen. My precious queen. Can I put the, oh, did I put this token in the bottom? I did put this token in the bottom. Wasn't supposed to be there. Got my token. Got it. All right, it's your turn. Draw. I'm going to go to my end phase. Oh. And I'll just have insect. My precious queen is the <laughs> one. My precious queen will summon another monster. Your move. Got it. Draw. A lot of defense over there. Yeah, very defensive deck I've got. I like how you're sitting behind that one card. I'll activate Night Beam. So I get to target your face down card to destroy it, and you can't activate it in response. You destroyed my widespread ruin. What is that? 
There's an attack that can, or a trap that can destroy one of your monsters when you declare an attack. Ooh, okay. I will tribute my Voltic Kong to summon Bowback Dragon. Oh, okay. Hmm. An odd pick. It has 2300 attack. And once per turn, I can target a card you control and toss a coin three times. If I get at least two heads, yeah. If I get two heads, I destroy the card. Okay. So I will use Blowback Dragon's effect targeting your face down monster. Okay. All right, three flips. Flip one, heads. Flip two, heads, heads. all okay. right. Okay, so my card's destroyed. You destroyed Resonance Insect. If it's sent from the field to the graveyard, I can add a level five or higher insect from my deck to my hand. I'll get Insect Queen to my hand. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, anyway, Blowback Dragon, attack one of the tokens. Eh. And I'll end my turn. Eh. Of Thanks course. to my precious queen. Return. So I draw. Oh. I don't make this I'll set one card face down. And I'm going to attack with Insect Queen on your Blowback Dragon. I have to tribute a monster, though. So I'll be tributing one of my tokens. Wait, can you do that? Because doesn't it say, things say your insects can't be tributed? Only Parasite Parasite can't be tributed. Oh, okay. Then I will activate Sphere Karibo, discarding it from my hand to switch your Insect Queen to defense position. Okay. You're safe for now. I'm always safe. Well, I'll go to my end phase then. And I'll have my precious queen spawn a token. Your move. Wow. Draw for turn. Oh, this is a problem. This means blowback dragon. Might be able to destroy my monster. It's only a might. It's a chance-based effect, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll give it a try. Blowback Dragon will use the effect targeting Insect Queen. Okay. One flip. Tails. Heads. Heads. No, my Insect Queen. Goodbye, Insect Queen. All right, we are still in the game, folks. And then I'll set one card phase down and enter the battle phase. Okay. Blowback dragon, attack the token. The token's destroyed. And then I'll move to the end phase. My token's back. <sighs> All right, your turn. I draw. I will. I'll go to my end phase, where, in, where Precious Queen will activate and summon another. How am I going to get token. through all these things? Struggle. <laughs> All right. Draw for turn. All right. Let's use Blowback Dragon's effect, targeting uh, just one token. I'll actually respond with Whoa. Parasite Paranoid from my hand. What's happening? It's got a quick effect. I can target a face-up monster in the field. It's going to be your Blowback Dragon. And equip this card from my hand to that target. The equipped monster becomes an insect monster, cannot attack insect monsters, and its effects that activate by targeting an insect monster are negated. Whoa, so that makes it completely useless. And also, if this equip card is sent to the grave, I can summon a level seven or higher insect from my hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. Oh, ooh, that's not so bad. So it's equipped to your blowback. Interesting, 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 interesting. All right. And that, of course, means its effect will be negated. Yes, so it does not get its effect, but I actually, or I just realized I can chain to that. Okay. It's a face-up speller trap. I activate Twister. Okay. So I'll pay 500 targeting your face-up speller trap card to destroy it. All right. Since it was destroyed, that means, though, it does get an effect. But I can't use it. I actually have a little something higher insect in my hand. Lucky. Wish it was. Should have run two insect queens. All right. But, uh, listen, but uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Next, I will normal summon Twin Barrel Dragon. Oh, okay. And it's on its effect, it's on summon, I target one card you control. Let's target, we'll target your back row card. And if I, I flip a coin twice, and if both are heads, I destroy it. I'll chain my Dust Tornado. Not fair enough. I target this back row card. You hit Michizuri. Oh, good one to hit. All right, so uh, there's really no purpose in using Barrel Dragon's effect, or Twin Barrel Dragon's effect. We'll go Who's to battle. Okay. Or no, not go to battle. I'll set a card face down and go to battle. Okay. Let's have Twin Barrel attack one token, and Bowback attacks another, and I'll end my turn. All right, I'll spawn one token with my precious queen. Now I draw a turn. I'll set one card face down, and I'll go to my end phase. 
or I'll get to summon another token and pass turn. All right, draw for turn. Getting through all these tokens is such a headache. My life points are safe for it, if only for a little longer. I will set a monster face down and activate Blowback Dragon's effect. Okay. We'll target your face down card. Okay. Let's flip a coin. Heads. Heads, oh, all right. Destroyed my widespread ruin. Oh, okay, I like seeing those go. And then we'll just move to battle. Blowback Dragon attacks attack, a token, and Twin Barrel Dragon attacks a token. I know it's gonna go to end phase. Oh, yeah, gonna... that's, that's fast. During the end phase, I'll use my precious queen and summon it back. My turn. Okay, go ahead. Draw. Okay, this might actually help for a change. I'll activate Verdant Sanctuary. When I remember one of my face-up insects is destroyed by a battle or a card effect and sent to the grave, I get to add an insect with the same level as the destroyed monster. I'll normal summon Pinch Hopper. That thing's so weak. Ha! Enter battle and attack your face-down card. I will activate the Forceful Checkpoint. When you declare an attack, I get to look at your hand. If there's a monster in that hand, I negate the attack and then you discard the monster. Right. Show me your My cards. hand is oh. insect barrier and eradicating aerosol. Oh, you don't really have much going on right now. Not a lot. Okay. I guess it... But that means my pin chopper's attack does continue. It does go through. You hit my mask of darkness. Oh, you get a trap card. You return a trap card to my hand. I'll take my, my Mitch Zuri. Okay. And your pin chopper's actually bigger than my mask of darkness. So. That's nice. Goodbye. Never complain about that. All right, in phase, a precious queen will summon another insect. You ain't right. Your move. So is Verdant Sanctuary by battle or effect? Battle or card effect. Ooh, okay. Draw for turn. All right. I'll use Blowback Dragon's effect, targeting your Verdant Sanctuary. Okay. Hopefully, this keeps working out for me. Okay. Heads, tails, tails. tails. I get to live it a fizzles turn. fizzles out. All right, then I will almost summon my Voltic Kong, set a mysterious face down, and enter battle. Battle ender. Voltic Kong will attack your pin chopper at 1800. All right, so I'll take 800 damage. And then my Voltic Kong's effect activates, having you send one card from the top of your deck to the grave. I sent oh. Eradicating Aerosol. You definitely don't need another one of those. And thanks to my Verdant Sanctuary, I can add an insect monster with the same level as the destroyed monster from deck to hand. All right. All right, I will. I'm starting to realize what this deck is. Rest all. Oh, what my deck is. It's just good cards. That's like, what I was saying. It's rare, like rare cards in yeah. your like are These, They're just like good. standalone good cards. Cards that like by themselves do something. And what was it? Level was it? Level four? It's level four. Okay, that should be a lot of options. Oh, actually, I don't know your deck. I'll get, I'll get my Resonance Insect. Mm. And then I'll have my Twin Barrel Dragon attack one of your tokens. And then my blowback will attack one of your tokens. And I'll end my turn there. All right, my precious queen will summon a token. And I'll draw. I'll set one monster, a spell or trap, and go to my end phase where my precious queen <laughs> will summon a monster. <laughs> your move duelist. All right, draw. I'll activate my blowback dragon's effect, targeting your face down. My face down. Yeah. I'll activate Dust Tornado and target your face down speller trap well, in response. We, we both knew what it was. It was Mitch's area. Yeah, another Mitch's area <laughs> interaction. All right, so there's nothing for Blowback Dragon to do. And now I'll activate Nobleman of Cross Out okay. to banish your face down monster. Is it a flip effect? It's a Resonance Insect. It does not have a flip effect, but does have an effect when it's banished. I can send an insect from my deck to the graveyard. It, oh, it sure does, doesn't it? It does. Huh. Okay. Um, well, there's really... Well, look at that. I'm going to send Parasite Parasite to the graveyard. Well, that's scary. That's... Uh... Well, sort of. You'll see if I can pull off a certain play. All right. Now my blowback dragon attacks a token. Or at least... I'll, well, no, I'm not going to battle yet. I'll set a card phase down. Now I enter battle. Oh, actually, I'll just lose this turn. Never mind. The uh, blowback dragon attacks a token. Twin barrel attacks a token. And Voltic Kong oh. attacks directly. All right, well, that concludes our Speed Duel Streets of Battle City tournament. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Alec for winning this one. And if you guys want, make sure to pick up this product when it's available at your local OTS store. Without further ado, it's going to be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Fast turn.